haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. <laughs> Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. There we go. walk from there. some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy group got us. Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. This is death. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, George! Did you miss me? I found her! Drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored, George Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told him, and I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> oh, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Damn. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah.
woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour-faced old crow. Goddamn you. Murderer. Murderer! If you're struggling for space in your satchel, just bring me the right materials and I'll work something up for you. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Morning, Arthur. Mister, am I glad I found you? I am colder than blue belly hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire just a bit? All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. Oh, God. Got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, the two days or or more. <laughs> oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, I mean, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet. They always turn brown. <laughs> so I'd like some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> I woke up on a riverbank shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Our entire village has been marked by the demon stealing our bodies and our minds. And we have all been cursed and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Now, know if I like you, mister, you got the same
You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now, the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
You have it in you, I can tell. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well of the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Yeah. Yep. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. The whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Perrin's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So, I guess it ain't all gone to shit. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Why well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. 
Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on that rope and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. We'll find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Sario, so you could say I got off lighting. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions discussion. Well, just say the word. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. 
A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual relax mr. Bullard take over keep us well away I'll do my best this Philly isn't the easiest to control you know no nope, I'm there I can't believe we're doing this that ain't John okay ain't by the barn Could be him. Yep, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! Oh my Lord! Ah! The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Alright, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. We can get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Say it! Up there! Shit! There are Christmas! Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Wait till I tell Balasario about this! What was she thinking this with the old Triscoll's right now? Grab the rope, come on! Grab the rope! 
I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> Damn it, look! There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. Dick. These goddamn old Driscoll's. You can't leave us in one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation's really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that.
Idiot. There, girl. Easy there, easy. Slow up now. Is Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be. Well, it's gonna be violent. Insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. 
Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. We'll land the boat in the morning. Prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot and look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marshal? We good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? See him? No. You, Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. <laughs> Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Uh, oh. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, Marston. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... 
He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Boy, you guys! Master. Okay, okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn gun! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up. 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain <laughs> shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! No, take my pistol! Let's clear these and make a run for it!
seem to need rescue in Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them open! I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near... Cuba. Cuba? Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you.